Gliese 581 is one of the most infamous systems in the studies of exoplanets. It's a dim red dwarf about 20 light years away from Earth, and is the 101st closest star to Earth, just shy of the top 100. Gliese 581 has three somewhat confirmed exoplanets, them being Gliese 581 e, b, and c. They're all super-Earths or ice giants on short orbits around the star. But you might have noticed the letters of these planets are b, c, and e. What happened to planet d? or the other planets for that matter, because at one point, planets F and G were also thought to exist in the system. What's going on with Gliese 581, and why are there so many missing planets? Gliese 581 is surprisingly calm as far as red dwarfs go, making it a prime target for finding planets since stellar activity wouldn't get in the way as much. Plus, since it's relatively close to Earth, the hunt for planets in the system became much easier. So, it wasn't long before people started searching for planets in the system. However, things wouldn't be that easy. Planets B and C have been confirmed to exist, but problems began with the discovery of a third planet, planet D, in the system. The planet quickly became disputed after its discovery, and it didn't take long to confirm that the planet's signal was a false positive originating from stellar activity. And just like that, Gliese 581d, which was thought to be a super-Earth within the star's habitable zone, was confirmed to not exist. But the disproving of planet D was just an omen of more to come from the star. Gliese 581f, another ice giant orbiting Gliese 581 at about the distance Venus orbits the Sun, was suggested to exist as well, but it was also later confirmed to not exist. This wasn't as big of a deal as planet D, since F was too far away from the star to be considered habitable, but even still, the worst was yet to come for Gliese 581. Planet E has luckily been confirmed to actually exist, but there's been some uncertainty about its orbit. But Gliese 581g is perhaps the most famous of Gliese 581's disappearing planets. Gliese 581g was discovered in 2010, right in the middle of Gliese 581's habitable zone. The discoverer of this planet, Stephen Vogt, had high hopes of it being habitable, despite it having a minimum mass over two times the size of Earth and an estimated temperature of anywhere from 10 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 24. Vogt even said that this planet had a 100% chance of supporting life, and unofficially named it Zarmina's World, or simply Zarmina, after his wife. This wasn't an official name, but problems for Gliese 581g had only just begun. Multiple telescopes began searching for Gliese 581g, as well as F, which was also suggested to exist based on the same data. But no further detections of either planet were reported, leading to many beginning to think that the planet didn't actually exist. But many were still convinced it did, and another paper was published in 2012 providing further evidence for its existence. But again, no further detections of the planet were made, and in 2014, the planet was confirmed by multiple studies to be a false positive, and Zarmina's world finally died. Gliese 581's planets have been relatively famous in astronomy circles for these reasons. So far, only planets B, C, and E have escaped years of other planets being suggested only to be refuted later. But why are planets around this star so difficult to find, and why are there so many false positives? What's unique about Gliese 581 that makes it have so many false positive planet candidates? Well, it's probably just a lot of bad luck and misunderstandings about stellar activity. Most of the star's false positive planets were discovered when data of radial velocity, one of the best ways to detect planets, was much less understood when dealing with red dwarfs. Stellar activity like solar flares and sunspots mess with data, and incorrect assumptions about the activity of red dwarfs led to a lot of candidate planets that are really just sunspot cycles or something similar. This isn't a problem unique to Gliese 581, and it's mostly a coincidence that so many planets were disproven around this specific star. But now, we have a much better understanding of red dwarf activity, leading to much less false positives. So it's unlikely that any other system similar to Gliese 581 with so many disproven candidates will be found again. So other popular red dwarf systems like Proxima Centauri and Trappist 1 are safe and their planets are mostly confirmed. But Gliese 581 is a good reminder of how difficult it is to properly detect exoplanets, and even though we've confirmed over 5,000 of them, there are multiple hundreds if not thousands of exoplanets that turned out to never exist. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other videos about exoplanets, as well as my colonization of the solar system series.